Hey, today I want to share with you my experience of the best cloud storage provider. It provides a huge amount of online storage at an incredibly low cost. I have been working with this site for over seven years. In this short video, I will tell you a few secrets that will be very useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it. Now we are starting. Dropbox, the service that created cloud storage, has so far not fallen victim to the usual first mover trap, offering speed and ease of use. Dropbox continues to introduce new features, so it's pretty well on our list of the best cloud storage. It has great collaboration tools, offering seamless integration with both Microsoft Office and Google Docs. Dropbox's prices aren't too bad either, and its smart sync feature controls the storage on your hard drive. However, it is not the most secure provider, and its privacy policy leaves a lot to be desired. However, if you're looking for a cloud storage service that makes collaborating on shared documents easy and efficient, Dropbox is still a great choice. Dropbox offers a few extra features that may have limited use, but we're going to focus on the biggest and best – collaboration. This is where Dropbox makes an impact, and this is why Dropbox for Business is our best cloud storage for collaboration. Most users will use Office or Google Docs to create or edit documents, so it makes a lot of sense for Dropbox to integrate with both services. This level of integration simply cannot be matched by most competing cloud storage providers, although this is only possible because of Dropbox's less favorable security standards. This feature allows you to open Office or Google Doc files in the Dropbox web app itself. If you share your files, other people can collaborate on those documents in real time and any changes you make as a team will be saved directly to your Dropbox account, making it easier to work together as a team. If you want to create a new document, you can do that too. You can use any browser to create Office files, but you need to use Chrome or Safari for Google Documents, neither of which provides the fastest web experience. If you're using a desktop application, the opposite is true. You can only create Google Documents and Office files remains out of reach. To use Google integration, you need your Dropbox account and your Google account to have the same email address. If they don't match, Dropbox will let you change your account email address, or you can create a new Google account with the same email address you use for Dropbox, even if it's not a Gmail address. It's a bit of a hassle, there's no such problem with Office documents. If you choose to integrate with Google Docs, you can even use Google's apps to edit and save Office files, so if you don't have an Office subscription, this is for you. However, if you do, you may need to make a few changes to the file. Opening the Excel file in Google Spreadsheets caused the formatting to break, although the data remained intact. Dropbox is great for integration, but it also has a few tricks of its own. One is Dropbox Paper, a note-taking and collaboration app. It acts as a single endless document that you can fill with text, images, videos, etc. Another Dropbox service is Showcase, available with a Dropbox professional subscription. It's a portfolio tool that allows you to create a personalized area for your work files with a customizable header and the ability to add images, playable videos and more. It's ok, but in terms of usefulness, it probably won't be a must-have tool for many Dropbox users. If you're worried about changes to your files, you might find the Rewind tool useful. This file version control feature allows you to roll back file changes. If you decide to roll back a document edit, recover a deleted file or return files after a ransomware attack, you'll need this feature. You can revert to any time in the past 30 days in your Dropbox Plus account or up to 180 days in Dropbox Professional. The process is simple. Just select the date you want to go back to and then select the time for that date. You see a list of all your changes, so you can make an informed decision and Dropbox will send you an email to let you know when the files will be restored. If you need shared space for your files, you can use Dropbox Spaces. This feature is relatively new and fairly simple. It turns a regular Dropbox folder into a shared folder with the ability to add notes or an integrated calendar to turn it into a group workspace. Freelancers with a standard Dropbox plan might find this useful, but others might not. 
Dropbox is certainly not the most expensive cloud storage provider, but it's not the cheapest either. If you want a free trial version of Dropbox, you can open a free Dropbox account with 2 GB of storage space, allowing you to sync files across 3 devices. You can still go back to previous versions of files from the last 30 days and send files up to 100 GB in size. For plans, there aren't many options to choose from. Dropbox only offers two paid plans for personal users, plus and family, each offering the same amount of storage space, namely 2 terabytes. Dropbox Plus and Family not only offer 30-day version control, but also allow you to rewind your entire account for 30 days and transfer files up to 2 gigabytes. The only real difference between the two plans is that Plus is for one user, while Family plans allow you to add up to 6 people to the plan. If you take almost any other cloud storage provider and look at the apps, the interface and the product itself, they all look a bit like Dropbox. This is OG, the first company to make personal cloud storage possible. The basic Dropbox format, with sync folders, a taskbar icon for setting and more, is a common format, replicated more than a decade later by other storage providers. It's a popular model for a reason. It's easy to use. Unfortunately, Dropbox changed the simple system in the last major update, and we're not sure this changes for the better. Nevertheless, the product is still pretty easy to get started with. Signing up is easy. Enter your name and email address, choose a password, and then you'll have the option to try Dropbox Plus for free for 14 days or continue using the basic plan. You will then be prompted to download Dropbox and launch it to get started. Dropbox will create a folder to sync files to your PC. You will need to select Advanced Options to change the location of this folder. Here you'll find the ability to configure the Selective Sync and Smart Sync options, which we'll cover in more detail in the next section. After setting up Dropbox, you'll see a pop-up about the new desktop app that's coming closer to the end of 2019. Previously, the only way to make changes to settings outside of the web interface was to use the system tray icon. Was to use the system tray icon, but Dropbox has ditched that model. Instead, it wants you to use a desktop app to view and manage the storage. The new app is very similar to the web interface, where you can pin files and folders, turn shared folders into Dropbox spaces, join video conferences, and access integration with other services like Slack. Most of these features are also available through the web interface, but there are some things you can only do through desktop app, like start a new Zoom meeting. Here, however, we complete the full circle. Most users expect the usual Dropbox-like experience. Click the icon on the taskbar, access your settings, browse or edit files in Explorer and carry on. However, when the tray icon opens the desktop app, users now have a few more steps to go through before they can properly use Dropbox. If this bothers you, you can change this in the General tab of the Settings menu. For example, you can set it to open folders in Windows Explorer rather than in the desktop application. However, once you've changed this, you can't open the desktop app without changing this setting again in the Settings menu. If you use Dropbox online, there are a few notable differences. The web interface has a simple menu at the bottom left with links to various sections such as files or applications such as Showcase. This menu is missing from the desktop app, which displays your most recent or tagged folders, so the web interface is a little easier to navigate. In the web interface, you'll find recent files and folders and suggestions based on the previous usage under Home and your files are listed under Files. One big disappointment for Mac users is that they will display your files in alphabetical order rather than the first with your folders, and there is no way to change this in the web interface. However, moving files and folders in Dropbox is still easy as you hope. It's a simple case of drag and drop. You can move files from Dropbox to your desktop, which will cause them to be deleted from your Dropbox account. Meanwhile, you drag and drop files from your desktop into Dropbox. They will be uploaded to your account. This works equally well in the web interface as it does in the desktop app, making it easy to move files around. Synchronizing and sharing files There are no peaks here because Dropbox is still one of the best cloud storage providers for file sharing and syncing. Dropbox solves one of the biggest problems of cloud storage disk usage. With its selective syncing feature, you can decide which folders sync to your desktop and which remain in the cloud. While this helps free up disk space, any folders you don't sync don't show up in your Dropbox folder, so it doesn't give you an accurate idea of what you've saved in your account. To solve this problem, Dropbox offers another solution. 
smart sync this allows you to see all your dropbox files and folders on your computer but you can choose which ones are stored locally or otherwise stored in the cloud you can view all your dropbox files in windows explorer without taking up disk space this doesn't mean that your online files are inaccessible just double click on them and your files will download and open as usual however you will need to set it as online only again later if you don't want to take up space if you want to share files from dropbox you can it's even one of the best cloud storage for sharing you can share a file or folder from your desktop app web interface mobile app or from your desktop folder you are given the option to send an email invitation directly or create a link that you can share yourself files can be read only or other users can be allowed to edit them Dropbox Plus users can also set a password and expiration date for the link. If you upgrade the Dropbox Professional, you get additional controls including the ability to disable a uploading which prevents recipients from saving what you've shared with them. The desktop app can share files through Slack, Trilo and Zoom. In addition, if you connect to other services, you can also share through the web interface via Gmail, Outlook, Microsoft Teams, WhatsApp and others. If you want to send a file rather than share it, you can use Dropbox Transfer. This will send a read-only copy of your file with a normal expiration date of 7 days, although you can change that to a year. You can send files up to 2 GB with a Dropbox Plus account, or up to 100 GB with Dropbox Professional.